okay, so in again, okay, this is about the angle the horn tubules should be, in which they are in this foot. Okay, same as the pastern bone here. Um, now, as I said, as the hoof gets long and grows and weighted because it is a, the structure grows forward. Okay, and it, <clears throat> with long walls gets weighted, eventually these horn tubules start to collapse and do this number. Then you've got kind of a mechanical nightmare going on. And so the only way to correct this, now usually when this happens, you're also going to have a toe that's way out here like this also. Okay, so the object in corrective trimming is to uh, bring the toe back to the correct breakover so there's no force or tor torque pulling um, forward on it in front, uh, too much further ahead of the actual in inner foot itself. Ah, come on. So that, okay, stay up there. Okay, so that this toe will start to, this toe right here will start to uh, back up like this. Now, okay, stay up. Oh, got to set the clock again. Gosh darn it. I wish I'd remember that. Okay, so, so here's your toe that's forward. Now, we take the breakover back to about here, okay, and this front wall here will start to back up like so. Now what happens when the front wall backs up? What happens to the horn tubule that's long over here? Okay, well, it starts to push it back too. Now, it's going to do one of two things. When it pushes it back, it's going to push it back up at the hairline here. See there how it came up there? But if you keep a bevel here so that the, the wall has some room to come out the bottom, instead of pushing it uh, up like so, well, if I can get this, let's see, I need something to set it on. Yeah. Anyway, I'll try and do it here. Okay. Instead of pushing it up at the hairline where you don't really want it to go up that way, it'll start pushing it out at the bottom. And if you keep it trimmed off, okay, these horn tubules will start to come back if you give them room. And they will start to straighten up and start to, to bear the weight of the hoof capsule properly. See, you don't want a horn, set of horn tubules right here. Okay, see now how that's kind of in alignment with the pastern there? And so the weight is just about right pushing down from above. Okay, but when the horn tubules get bent forward, this presents, this presents a constant pressure of the weight of the horse um, pushing these horn tubules back that way at the top and forward from the bottom. There is a constant pressure on the hoof. And, that's why it's so hard too sometimes to get the toe to back up because you have horn tubules back here that are still pushing down from above and pushing forward from below. Okay, <clears throat> so these are just um, the structural engineering principles of the hoof. And so uh, we have to understand how the foot got the way it did, know the history, because remember, who, those who do not learn from history are destined to repeat it. And, this is especially true with the hoof. You have to have an understanding of this hoof capsule and um, the structure of it and how it works. The structural engineering principles of the hoof because it's the same principles throughout all of nature. And if people did not adhere to structural engineering principles and understand them, then it wouldn't be safe to uh, build a skyscraper or a boat or a car or anything else and have it be safe enough for a human being to live in. And so, as you're studying the foot, um, look up Wikipedia and just read some basics about structural engineering principles. I mean, we use them throughout our daily life um, on a constant basis, but we don't really always think about them. So, I hope that explains a little bit about these horn tubules. So, you know, in this trimming and this mapping, 
Um, this is the purpose, is to get the horn tubules and the toe to come back to where they're supposed to be, um, while also working to get these front tubules to push these ones in the side back to the angle they're supposed to be at, and eventually, hopefully, to the heel to straighten out a severely underrun heel. At the same time, if you have a foot with a lot of jamming up here, where there's a lot of excess wall that is jammed up into here, um, we relieve from here to here uh, so that there's no heavy, uh, constant pounding ground, ground contact on the wall down here, which gives the foot a chance to push the excess wall that may have jammed up in here out the bottom so it can be trimmed off. And the key to this is keeping a constant uh, relative trim on your horse so that the foot can change. You know, not so much that he's sore all the time or something like that, but keeping a consistent trim with beveled walls, lightly beveled walls, so that there is no ground pressure, direct ground pressure with the hard horn tubules on the ground down here so that they have a chance to move back and also, if they're jammed up into here and you have excess wall from here to here, for that wall to be able to excise itself out of the capsule. Whew! Okay. Now, what else are we going to talk about? Okay, here we go. Um, <clears throat> Got to find my coffin bone. Hold on, I had it in my hand. Where is it? Huh. I seem to have lost my coffin bone. And I really needed it. Okay, well, instead of doing that part, let's just take a look at this frog again, which I think is very interesting. Okay, one thing we're going to do here <coughs> uh, in the next few segments is uh, I'm going to dissect this bar so that we can really see. Uh, okay, now if you look here, when I look here where I've removed the frog, okay, it all looks like bar from here to here, but it's not. Um, but what you see here is you'll see sole tubules coming up this way, and then you'll see bar tubules here, but this is not one continuous area. The bar ends <clears throat> right about here. Okay, and the way that we tell that is because the bar is like the hoof wall. Look here, this is where the hoof wall grows. Now look how it continues around back here to where you see the triangle of uh, what they call the buttress and continues up under here to where you see, let's get that here, eh, Right here, you can see it, the triangular area from where the bar grows. And it is just like hoof wall right here. And so it ends right about here. And it's a triangular shape right there, see? And then, so this would be sole that grows down in here. And uh, the bar is up on the side here, up on the side right here. But down in here is what you call your collateral groove area, right here. And a lot of times, you know, right from here, in front of the bar forward, it will get congested and build up sole, as it does here, as it has here in this hoof capsule. And the reason for that is because this is the one part of the foot that hardly wears away at all. Okay, so we're going to dissect this bar in the next... Uh, Next 10 minute video. All right.